Test 3. Hello. This is the Cambridge Flyers practice listening test 3. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you find Tom? I see him. Look, he's between the two clowns. Oh yes, and he's smiling. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. I'm looking for David now. Where is he? He's buying a ticket for the game. Oh, I see him. Who's the girl playing with the balls? The one with straight hair? Yes. Does she work here at the circus? Yes. Her name's Pat. Where's Mary? She's just finished the game. Look, she's won something. What is it? It's an orange fish. Look, there's Peter. He works here too. I don't see him. What's he doing? He's riding his bicycle over the big rocks. That looks dangerous. Yes, but he's very careful. Which girl is Vicky? Can you see the girl wearing a green skirt? Yes. She is tall with curly hair. Now listen to part one again. I'm looking for David now. Where is he? He's buying a ticket for the game. Oh, I see him. Who's the girl playing with the balls? The one with straight hair? Yes. Does she work here at the circus? Yes. Her name's Pat. Where's Mary? She's just finished the game. Look, she's won something. What is it? It's an orange fish. Look, there's Peter. He works here too. I don't see him. What's he doing? He's riding his bicycle over the big rocks. That looks dangerous. Yes, but he's very careful. Which girl is Vicky? Can you see the girl wearing a green skirt? Yes. She is tall with curly hair. That is the end of part one. Part 2. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Mrs. Fish. How old are you? Well, I'm 84 now. I've lived a long time. Wow! Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Have you got a lot of grandchildren? Oh, yes. I've got four children and seven grandchildren. That's great. Do you see them often? Yes, they live near me and we go on holiday together. My favourite place to go is the beach. Do you still work, Mrs Fish? No, not now. But I did when I was younger. I was a nurse. Oh, that's good. I want to be a journalist. Have you always lived here in the city? No. When I was a child, I lived on a farm in the country. Did you like it there? Yes, but I had to wake up early and give food to all the animals. What time did you have to wake up? 
at five o'clock in the morning. Oh, that's too early for me. Now listen to part two again. Have you got a lot of grandchildren? Oh yes, I've got four children and seven grandchildren. That's great. Do you see them often? Yes, they live near me, and we go on holiday together. My favorite place to go is the beach. Do you still work, Mrs. Fish? No, not now. But I did when I was younger. I was a nurse. Oh, that's good. I want to be a journalist. Have you always lived here in the city? No. When I was a child, I lived on a farm in the country. Did you like it there? Yes, but I had to wake up early and give food to all the animals. What time did you have to wake up? At five o'clock in the morning. Oh, that's too early for me. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Who likes which food? What will you have for dinner tonight, Jim? We are having pizza. It's my brother's favorite food. It's my favorite food too. Can you see the letter G? Now you listen. And write a letter in each box. And what about your sister? Does she like pizza too? Yes, but it's not her favorite. What's her favorite then? She likes chocolate best. I think your mother likes sweet things too. Yes, she does, but she likes cheese more. She eats it a lot. Does she? That's good. And what does your uncle like? Oh, he eats anything, but I think his favorite is burgers. Yes, burgers are good. I've seen your cousin eating a lot of fruit. Are bananas her favorite? She likes them, but I think her favorite is pineapple. Oh yes, I've seen her eat that too. And your grandma lives with you, doesn't she? That's right. What's her favorite food? She likes cakes best. She makes them for our birthdays, and she's very good at it. Now listen to part three again. And what about your sister? Does she like pizza too? Yes, but it's not her favorite. What's her favorite then? She likes chocolate best. I think your mother likes sweet things too. Yes, she does, but she likes cheese more. She eats it a lot. Does she? That's good. And what does your uncle like? Oh, he eats anything, but I think his favorite is burgers. Yes, burgers are good. I've seen your cousin eating a lot of fruit. Are bananas her favorite? She likes them, but I think her favorite is pineapple. Oh yes, I've seen her eat that too. And your grandma lives with you, doesn't she? That's right. What's her favorite food? She likes cakes best. She makes them for our birthdays, and she's very good at it. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. When did Robert go to the farm? You visited a farm, didn't you, Robert? That's right. I went with my uncle. Did you go on Wednesday? No, we went on Friday. That's good. It rained on Thursday. So it's good you didn't go on that day. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One.
Which animal was in the lake? What did you see at the farm? Well, there's a big lake behind the farmer's house. Are there fish in the lake? No, but there are birds. There aren't any swans, but there are some ducks. Two. What did Robert help the farmer plant? And what else did you do? I helped the farmer plant vegetables. Did you? Were they carrots or onions? No, he's already planted those. I helped with the tomatoes. Three. What kind of juice did Robert make? We also made juice from the fruit on the trees. Did you make lemonade? No, he hasn't got any lemon trees. He has lime trees and apple trees, but we made apple juice. Four. How many eggs did Robert get? What did you do next? I got eggs from the chickens. One or two eggs? No, there were lots. I found fourteen eggs. Wow. Five. What did Robert give the farmer? Did you remember to say thank you to the farmer? Of course, and I gave him a present. Oh, that's nice. What did you give him? I gave him a pair of gloves, and he gave me a comic book. It's here in my rucksack. That was very nice of him. Now listen to part four again. One. Which animal was in the lake? What did you see at the farm? Well, there's a big lake behind the farmer's house. Are there fish in the lake? No, but there are birds. There aren't any swans, but there are some ducks. Two. What did Robert help the farmer plant? And what else did you do? I helped the farmer plant vegetables. Did you? Were they carrots or onions? No, he's already planted those. I helped with the tomatoes. Three. What kind of juice did Robert make? We also made juice from the fruit on the trees. Did you make lemonade? No, he hasn't got any lemon trees. He has lime trees and apple trees, but we made apple juice. Four. How many eggs did Robert get? What did you do next? I got eggs from the chickens. One or two eggs? No, there were lots. I found fourteen eggs. Wow. Five. What did Robert give the farmer? Did you remember to say thank you to the farmer? Of course, and I gave him a present. Oh, that's nice. What did you give him? I gave him a pair of gloves, and he gave me a comic book. It's here in my rucksack. That was very nice of him. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Can you see the flags above the castle? Yes. Shall I colour them? Yes. Colour them green. Okay. Can you see the green flags? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. Now I would like you to colour something. Find the man who is standing on the bridge. Okay, I found him. Colour his suitcase brown. Okay, I've just done that. Two. 
Do you see the ducks in the water? I see three ducks. Good. Colour the duck at the bottom of the picture black. Yes, the one at the bottom, which is bigger than the other two. Three. I would like you to write something now. What shall I write? Do you see the castle? Yes, it is very big. Above the entrance, I want you to write the word castle. Okay, that's easy. Four. There are three boys playing football on the grass. I see them. Look at the boy who's kicking the ball. Okay. Colour his shoes red, please. Both his shoes red. Right. Five. And now, do you see the bridge? Yes, of course. I want you to write the word bridge on it. Okay. Where? On the part of the bridge that is in front of the man with the suitcase. Now listen to part five again. One. Now I would like you to colour something. Find the man who is standing on the bridge. Okay, I found him. Colour his suitcase brown. Okay, I've just done that. Two. Do you see the ducks in the water? I see three ducks. Good. Colour the duck at the bottom of the picture black. Yes, the one at the bottom, which is bigger than the other two. Three. I would like you to write something now. What shall I write? Do you see the castle? Yes, it is very big. Above the entrance, I want you to write the word castle. Okay, that's easy. Four. There are three boys playing football on the grass. I see them. Look at the boy who's kicking the ball. Okay. Colour his shoes red, please. Both his shoes red. Right. Five. And now, do you see the bridge? Yes, of course. I want you to write the word bridge on it. Okay. Where? On the part of the bridge that is in front of the man with the suitcase. That is the end of the Flyers Practice Listening Test Three.